result in too much traffic and not enough parking. There's no guarantee that the residents will be a fit for the community. I worry about the safety of the children in the neighborhood. So what you just heard are some common concerns often brought up at public open houses for affordable housing development. These statements and statements of similar sentiments are often that are often encountered during the public participation process are an example of some of the obstacles and difficulties um, faced in the development of much needed affordable housing. I'm Emma, this is my colleague Austin, and together with our partner Atira and our teammate Lily, we set out to reimagine participation. And we did this by creating an innovative engagement compendium for affordable housing development. I'll get started by giving you some background on our project partner, Atira Women's Resource Society. Atira is a not-for-profit organization committed to the work of ending violence against women and children. Innovation is a key value for Atira, um, and we chose to harness this value to create our compendium. Our project began by providing public engagement support for Atira's housing development in Port Coquitlam, called the Alex. By summarizing and analyzing stakeholder and public engagement comments, we recognize that public opposition is a major obstacle that Atira and many other affordable housing developers face while providing much needed housing in this region. After conversations with the CEO of Atira, Janice Abbott, our, our fi we decided that our final deliverable for the studio course would be a resource to help Atira, to help advance Atira's mission of providing safe and, and supportive housing. Thus, the Innovative Engagement Compendium was born to explore alternative methods, to inspire innovative and inclusive engagement strategies, and to create efficiencies within this process. The compendium is a collection of carefully curated case studies and stories that highlight innovations in community engagement strategies that successfully address this community opposition. So the compendium that we created is based off of research and case studies from around the world, as you can see. Uh, we chose cases not just within housing, but from a variety of different fields and types of projects. We selected case studies that we thought were the most applicable to Atira's programming and context. We found that many of the stories really validated our findings and our experience with Atira and their public engagement process, showing that we're not alone with these challenges. We identified 11 case studies that we compiled in the compendium, which we have organized into six different themes, which are art, art and education, digital engagement, media, public relations, governance, facilitation techniques, and monitoring and evaluation strategies. Now, of course, all these themes aren't mutually exclusive, and so many of the case studies will have multiple themes categorized into these themes. So for this presentation, I just wanted to highlight one of our case studies. So Marion House is a rehabilitation and housing service provider based in Baltimore. And this case fits within our themes of media and public relations, art and education, and facilitation. The project, called 30 Women, 30 Stories, is an outreach, initi an outreach initiative that showcases 30 alumni of their program and their stories of overcoming trauma, addictions, homelessness, and poverty. They organized a traveling exhibition of stories through a variety of mediums, including video, audio stories, and portraits, to help end that stigma associated with their community and addictions. Nonprofits can use techniques like storytelling to engage their own clients to advocate for themselves while allowing others to empathize and humanize with their experiences, more so than facts and statistics that are well. This project does not only help the organization, but it also works to change the overall conversation by working to end the social stigma associated with addictions and mental health. So this is just one of the 11 case studies that we've compiled, each including with their own stories, the innovation used, the main outcomes, and key takeaways. Our final compendium will be publicly available on Atira's websites for anyone to use. It's meant to inspire new ideas for engagement for affordable housing providers. With this compendium, we hope that the future of public participation can be reimagined to relieve some of the common challenges and build more inclusive and engaged.